this is how it usually happens a boy meets a girl on social media they find themselves attractive age of technology so yeah they keep in touch real good they decide to give themselves some space you know one person waiting for the other person to text first first day passes by second day passes by third day comes and the girl decides to move on with her life because in her defense she did not die when she was oblivious to his existence fourth day comes and she gets a text from him for your information her day is made like the conversation keeps on going and everything is going on smooth and fine Suddenly, something happens. They stop talking. Hi, I'm Gabriel. Nice to meet you. Hi, I'm Fire. Nice to meet you too. Yeah, life goes on. Hi, and this is my first time attempting to film other people if you're a new viewer please subscribe if you're a returning subscriber then thank you for coming back what you just watched is a visual representation of what I feel happens in the dating scene well in Nigeria if you know me then you know I like to act like a hard girl like the truth is I am actually not a hard girl I love love I find the concept of genuine love so beautiful. The fact that people are willing to change and evolve into an entire new being just to, well, okay, not an entire new being, that was like an exaggeration, but you get what I'm saying. They try to change into a person that will be fit for their partners, like just to preserve what it is they have with that person i find it so heartwarming the sacrifices people make for their partners as well as the happiness and peace of mind that comes with when you talk to this person that uh, you just like it it's <laughs> as lovely as all these things sound whenever they go south it is never a sight one wants to behold like it is bad terrible people deal with heartbreaks differently because obviously everybody is different and the intensity they all use or we all use to love is equally different the amount of pain one person feels will obviously not be the same amount of pain a pain another person feels and you see people needing to go to therapy because they were heartbroken. You see people committing suicide. So I asked a couple of people what it felt like to be heartbroken. It was bad. That's the that's the only word I can use to describe it. Honestly, I was I was getting I was getting angry at everyone over any small thing that they do like even to tell me sorry I'll get angry because I do not want to be around anybody at that time. I was just snapping at people like a crazy person, like a dog. <laughs> like a mad dog. And I really don't know how to describe it. at the point I was being childish too. <laughs> I'm not really one to open up to someone whenever I'm feeling a mass amount of pain. So dealing with my heartbroken face was a whole lot. My heart sank, honestly, and there were just too many emotions. I couldn't process any. I just knew I regretted letting my guard down. 
and allowing someone to form a whole me. You know, like I said, I was snapping at everybody. I was doing things. I was I was binge eating. Yes, I was binge eating. I would just sit there in my room all day. I'd just be eating, thinking, eating and thinking. It was it was actually a very crazy cycle. And that period in time, you know, it felt like like I would not get to buy it, you know. But I had friends that kept telling me, you get over it, it's not really worth, you know, that kind of thing. That there's plenty of fish in the ocean. And, um, you know, eventually I got to buy it. And <laughs> Recovering was not easy, but I'm proud of where I am currently. And I only hope it gets better from here. I promised myself not to make anyone put me in such a position again. But the crazy thing is, if you're deciding to give love another try, there's no way there won't be a probability of getting your heart broken again. In other words, we're all finished. made me feel like genuine shit man for you know that type of like uh walk around the house lost type of shit like walk up and down and not necessarily know like what's going through your head just like you have to move your body you know that to distract yourself type of thing all i've ever done is be good to you and i do not understand how you decide to treat me this way type of because if I genuinely have interest in something, I tend to invest a lot of my energy to it to the point where it feels like I am obsessive. But I don't know, because it just feels like if it's worth it, then you go after it with like all you can. And then, you know, for you to chop breakfast with that type of mentality or that, in that type of situation, it's very, it makes you feel very stupid. Cheating is like, a norm in our society nowadays cheating is like water you see a guy or girl talking about something that is clearly cheating but then they will make it seem like they are not cheating i find cheating very very irritating personally i don't think i can get back with a cheating partner i, I don't think i can do it cheating doesn't just happen you know, it's different when I am holding this pen, the pen falls down, like, it just fell down. They, like, there was no plan. I did not plan for the pen to fall down. Cheating happens in stages. First of all, you open the, pe the door of the person's house, you opened it, and then you walked in, like, or you invited the person into your house. You looked at this person, you people were having eye contact. You know what they say about eye contact, like, long eye contact. We were having eye contact for long. And then you remove your clothes. And then you pounce on this person. How was that a mistake? Like in every step you were taking, you did not remember that, okay, well, I have this partner at home. Like I have this person that really cares about me. And then wait, you expect the person to forgive you and then the person forgives you. The person has to deal with the fact that, oh, another man or another woman was with this person standing in front of me. I just know, I, cheating is a deal breaker for me. Like, once you cheat, like, bye-bye, be going. Go to your mommy's house. I'll go to my mommy's house and my daddy's house. Like, let's just part ways. We'll meet better people in future. Like, you know you are wasting this person's time. You know that this person likes you you know it just won't end well but you want to inflict some kind of pain onto somebody somebody's child breaking a large amount of girls hearts or like different women's hearts is it, it doesn't make you a bad guy breaking every guy's heart out there doesn't make you a bad bitch like it only makes you an awful person if you're not able to control yourself if you're not able to communicate with people well tell them that okay i don't have feelings for you if you're, you're not able to be responsible enough to know that you should not play people then 
like this is the hardest part when it comes to dealing with heartbreaks like i'm not here to tell you that you will find a better person tomorrow i am not here to tell you that you will heal by tomorrow i am equally not here to tell you that whoever it is that wronged you a girl or a guy is going to suffer the consequences in future because sometimes i feel karma is not real and it's just a fact we all have to live by if you want to face facts whatever happened has happened most people like deal with heartbreak for years like five six seven years like and sometimes they end up self-harming themselves you know that's apart from thinking of committing suicide like they self-harm themselves they are rude to people they are depressed they get anxiety along you know different kind of mental in illnesses which we try to water down because what caused that mental illness was breakfast like chopping breakfast I don't know what happened in whatever relationship it was and i'm not just speaking to a particular gender i'm speaking to both genders um if you ever felt like or if you ever feel like you are not enough you are enough like fight these type of feelings with daily positive affirmations and if you were the problem people make mistakes you know people actually make mistakes if you have if you're in a situation if your situation is a situation where you know you are able to rectify your wrongs like you can actually reach out to this person and apologize to this person i feel you should actually do something like that because people tend to forgive faster when they actually get an apology people are different it might not be the same for everybody but i know we're all familiar with the quotes that we see on the internet uh, moving on without an apology makes you a hero stuff like that the point is people i personally value apologies um i can be really really mad at somebody and the person will apologize a genuine apology like you cannot do something let's not get into that i value genuine apologies you know when the apology is genuine it's except you're a skilled liar but you would know when an apology is genuine i'm not saying that if someone wrongs me today let's say if someone tries to kill my mommy also I, i'll just forgive the person instantly because the person said i'm sorry no i'm just saying it makes it's easier for the person to decide to forgive you you're doing two people a very big favor yourself and the person you're making it easier for her to forgive you which will in turn help her heal and you're also like clearing your conscience like telling you you're finally accepting that okay what i did was wrong and i've grown past this phase of my life where i i just felt like doing what i did at that point was a good thing you're telling yourself that you are a changed person you and i'm sorry for whatever the person did to you if you never get to get an apology from the person i'm telling you sorry on the person's behalf you know when you put so much time effort and a lot of hope into something and then along the line like it's it, it just cuts off I know what it feels like for something like that to cut off i am a perfectionist like everything i do in my life i i want everything to be perfect i like making plans a lot you know they will always say don't make plans leave it to god and i'm one of those people that want to make plans and like well i'm not be begging god that that plan should work do you get but like i always want things to go how i i i love my imagination i have a very very creative imagination so let's say i i am planning a video and in my head it looks really good like 
very 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 good and then when i make the video it comes out and it is not close to half of what i imagined in my head i will not put out that video just because it did not fit my expectations or rather it did not match my expectations and someone else can like the video and i'll still find it so hard to put it out there for people to see the same thing goes for when let's say i am in a relationship i have planned that okay this is this person is the person for me like i don't want to keep on doing auditions with <laughs> Like, I don't want to keep on doing auditions with other people. And then, you know, like, you've planned your life. You've planned how... You've planned different things. You've even planned how you get married to this person. I know what it feels like to plan something so well. And then, at the end of the day, it doesn't work out. Like, that feeling of, I wasted my time. Aside from the fact that people are angry that this person that they really love or loved broke their hearts people are also angry that they wasted their time imagine someone dating a particular person for 10 years of their life like that is 365 days times 10 like 10 years of their life and at the end of the day they break up then somebody will now come and tell me like were they meant to last yeah that's true that is very very true i remember there was there was this girl my friend she's not just a random girl i asked her about a friend of hers i asked if she was still dating this particular person and her response was no and i'm like well uh, why what happened and she said were they meant to date forever to believe it is in the phase of our lives where we are at at the moment but everybody is really just dating for fun if you ask me like okay no using everybody is bad because i know i've seen a few couples that are actually dating genuinely most people are dating for fun most people are only dating because Oh, I want to post a picture with this particular person on Twitter and get a lot of God wins. It doesn't work that way if you ask me. Like, okay, when you now do God win, like, what's next? Do you ever ask yourself that question? I find it very silly that you would want to. I see it as wasting my time. I cannot spend my time with somebody like somebody else like i can't say i am dating somebody just because i want to look cute on the internet i find it time consuming i feel like i am wasting a part of my life like that moment like the moment i used to chat with this person the moment i used to take pictures the moment i used to go out with this person i feel like i could have used it to maybe take a course online to better my life or something like the crazy thing is that most times one party knows that they are not being serious in that relationship do you get it is different if the two parties know that okay I, we just want to look cute on the internet finish i'm not saying i am not in support of like let me not use the word support i personally will not want something for myself that way but if two people like two people strange strangers or friends i don't care if they are okay with it i don't mind like it's a free world do what you do i have my opinions you too you have your opinions but i like i respect your opinion since the both of you are you know like in support of the idea it is it is much better when two of them are in support of the idea see if you don't like the person say it don't play with people this guy probably has plans you know so most times when a guy is reaching his 30s it's more like he i don't want to generalize but i'm saying majority of stories i've seen and guys i have heard of and i know of they start thinking of settling down whenever they are clocking 30 like they are entering the road into their 30s and then there's this girl that is 
in her early 20s that just wants to flex you know you just want to flex why are you not telling this person that you don't want anything serious like people are wicked and at the end of the day the best thing to do is really to like guard yourselves like not everybody is going to come out like not everybody is going to be tr th um, truthful enough to tell you that okay i don't want anything serious with you not everybody is going to do that so pray in whatever god you believe in and be careful and then if at the end of the day you do everything within your power to secure yourself from getting heartbroken and you still get heartbroken then i think every heartbreak that someone goes through breaks a part of a person i also think that every time you get disappointed by someone you love it makes you more doubtful i think it makes it hard for us to trust and anytime we trust someone because we care for them and they break that trust it's frustrating because you expected better because you love them and when you love people you hold them in high regards and when they're happy you're happy too when they're sad you share their pain and after a long day their text makes you smile you feel fulfilled when they are proud of you and you value their opinions more you expose yourself to them and sometimes they misuse that trust heartbreak it's when you know I love you and you use it against me heartbreak is when you don't value me because you understand that I love wholeheartedly it's when you cheat because you think I'll take you back or maybe you're right or maybe when I've had enough I'll leave and maybe I'll find someone better you know from people that sent the text messages to the voice recordings to the people that equally showed my actors let's just call them my actors and then my assistant my roommate that you know, helped in the process like i'm grateful i will see you in my next video bye your love not piano cut it didn't make me sing Baby, come give me love oh come give me kiss oh baby come come give me touch oh baby come come give me touch oh nah, nah. follow you follow you go anyway you go i follow you go baby me check out jojo i let you oh, man party walk follow you follow you go anyway you go i follow you go baby me check out jojo I let you my body I could die for your love, oh baby